Hi everybody, how's it going? We've got a 2014 F-150. Uh, looks like it's four wheel drive, 237,178 miles. It's got a starting problem. Put the key in and we got nothing here, okay? No big deal, let's go check power and ground and test the battery and see what's going on. Swinging around to the engine compartment. We can see it's been recently jump started. It's got some scratch marks in the post. Everybody looks tight. I'm gonna throw a digitized computer sensor, scanner, battery tester device onto this. And uh, we're gonna see what this uh, piece of machinery right here tells us. Oh, what was that voltage that it gave me? Hang on, let's, let's put that back on. Let's reconnect. Hmm, what do we got there? 10 volts? Not good. It's a bad sign. Uh, we're going to call this out of vehicle. Uh, it's a regular type battery called cranking amps, and it has 850 of those. 850 we see enter testing testing and the survey says now it's 12 volts okay first it was 10 now it's 12 but we're making 232 all right let's let the dude know he needs a new battery i'll be right back oh woe is me he's giving us a very hard time because the guy says he just bought this battery like six months ago or something like that and it should be under warranty and he doesn't see why he should have to pay what it costs to replace this battery um there's one major issue with that uh this is a napa legend battery and we don't sell napa legend batteries now granted we could have sourced one out uh, from napa when this was replaced and just bought it from them we may not have had one in the building um, but the problem with that is, is the last time this vehicle was here in this shop or at our company was in 17 I believe so that's about four years ago um, four years ago this uh, truck did get a new battery from our company but we installed an AC Delco battery not a not an Apple battery uh, however uh, our fellas not really caring about that and he insists that this should be a free battery on the shop because he just replaced it as he states uh, there's no paperwork and the only thing we've got on it is work order history from from back in the day so uh, they're uh, they're up there having a conversation uh, regarding the matter and to make matters worse he was at a, a, a retail parts store and they did a, a test on it and it said the battery was okay and that he needed a starter because when he tries to start it, it doesn't want to start. And uh, if you missed it earlier, we'll try it again and we'll see what happens when it needs, when you try to start it. Yeah, nothing. So apparently the people that sell the parts to the people that go to the parts stores told this guy he needs a starter. So now he wants me to figure out what's wrong with the starter. Um, I keep explaining to him that I need a power supply here in order to make the system function and it, we're kind of at this, this huge impasse either way this battery is going to be getting replaced so i'm going to remove it and then i can conduct a starting and charging system test once we have a known good fresh new battery installed in the vehicle uh, that's kind of crusty but yeah, that's uh, this is one of the, the negatives of my of my business is the folks that live in ever since you land seem to think that I'm responsible for everything that happens to this car, and that's just not even the case. Especially things that aren't even our parts that do not represent our company. And that's no offense to Napa or the parts store in question or or even the guy. It's just this is the nature of confusion that surrounds this particular industry. And I believe that's a big driver of why folks like me and my profession have this negative, uh, negative stigma when it comes to how the general public views us. It's because they, uh, frankly, I just don't think they understand. And that's okay. I mean, it's not a huge problem, but that doesn't mean you gotta, you gotta point fingers at people over 
you know, silly little things. What's the what's the saying? How's it go? You get more bees with honey than with vinegar or something like that? Well, this dude's vinegar. And I'm a killer bee. Uh, fortunately for me and all of those around me, I have uh, suffered the woes of this business for nearly two decades. And my heart has become black and hardened when it comes to low jabs and uh, accusations and attacks like that. I just have to revert back to being objective on all matters and uh, objectivity will save the day every time because the facts don't lie. They certainly don't care about feelings and they most definitely do not care about opinions. Especially opinions, opinions of retailers who are trying to sell people starter motors and alternators because their little voltmeter told them to. So it box ended. I'm gonna go butt my nose in back to this conversation and see what's going on with uh, what, are, what we're gonna do about this battery situation. Well, creative problems require creative solutions and we have collectively come up with a creative solution. See, since this is not our battery, I'm not gonna run the warranty it. The customer is not gonna leave without a battery. So what's gonna happen here is Napa is gonna come and they're gonna warranty their own battery and give us another one. And I'm gonna take that battery out and then the guy's gonna pay me for taking it out and putting it in. Here. And uh, then I will conduct a starting and charging system test on his vehicle, uh, thus confirming that the starting and charging system test is probably going to yield acceptable results and no further repairs will be required. That being said, everybody can stop being antsy at 8 o'clock in the morning over a very small little problem. And we'll just put this 60 pound hunk of lead outside for when the, the Napa delivery guy shows up. And I'll check back in with you guys when they get here. Okay, this might be overkill, but I have time to spare. I'll spray some chemical cleaner on these just to remove any hidden crusties that my brush may not have uh, captured. There. All right, let's rinse off this foamy cleaner stuff. Bright clean and or water will suffice every time. I choose bright clean. Because overkill. There, now those are really nice and shiny. Oh man, so now the guy's going at it with the Napa guy because the Napa guy checked his like stamp on the battery and it was made in uh, the third month of 2018 and uh, they're not gonna warranty that either. So now this dude's gonna have to pay Napa for the battery that Napa just delivered under warranty that's not actually under warranty. Oh, this is what you get when you don't pay attention. Regardless, that is not my concern. And I just need to get this installed before people change their mind. That's the hold down device, Ford style. thing needs some two-handed encouragement. starts now all right key yeah hey, that's a that's a new development look it's performing scheduled system maintenance it's a smart truck it's working 
Now, let's see if we got any charging system voltage. There's no voltmeter on the dash anymore. Okay. All right, well, let's go bust out a tester. Now, I have already concluded that the starting circuits are functioning as designed. Let's check, see if this thing has an option for charging system test. First, let's test the brand new battery. Testing. Nice, 1188 cranking amps, good battery, sweet. Okay, this thing does not have a menu function for uh, checking alternators, so I'll just do this the old school way. And the old school way being, I'm gonna turn on all the loads and see what kind of output voltage we make. And if we're making good voltage, I will uh, sign off on the functionality of this nading unit and uh, call this one a day. So, let's see. Start it back up. We'll turn everything on full blast. Blower motor, high beams, fog lights, and let's see if the radio will power up. And I don't want to connect the phone, no. These Bluetooth things, if the guy's inside in the office on the phone, it'll come through. Let me turn those on. It'll come through on the on the audio system and I'll cut the phone call off. And that I don't want to do. Okay, I think that's enough. Enough loads, I got everybody turned on. Let's go check voltage. Now, I don't hear any diodes screaming away in there, so I think uh, I think mechanically it is sound. And it's making uh, 4.55 volts. This nader's good. No further action required. Oh, I forgot some spray. I'm gonna put some spray on it. I believe this is an oil-based spray. Um, I tried to find an Amazon link last time I used this and they are all sold out of it. It may be available retail. I don't personally uh, prefer the use of these preventative sprays because they just kind of make things a little bit ugly. But uh, a lot of folks like them and since this didn't have it and I did find some corrosion, I figured next time around which is this time, it couldn't hurt to throw a little bit of protection on there. That being said, I'm all done here. So one trend of the channel that I'd like to make mention of is I've been doing a lot of battery work lately. And if you guys have not noticed, this video is going up on, uh, on my B channel, my out of the shop secondary channel. And not because this is out of the shop or not because this is secondary work, but I've just got so much stuff going on on the first channel that uh, I don't really have room for this video there right now. So I went ahead and, and did a, a B channel upload for this particular video. Uh, sorry if that confuses anybody uh, regarding to why it's there. I've just got other stuff in the schedule and I figured this little short guy could get thrown up on, on channel number two and shouldn't be a problem. So all that being said, uh, this guy is waiting. I'm gonna go ahead and park his car out front and return it to him. Um, as always, I'd like to thank everybody here for watching my video and the only thing I would ask of you in return is that you give this video a tappy tap thumbs up. That is what lets me and YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And if YouTube thinks that I'm doing a good job, it's more likely to recommend my content to other potential viewers. And that's good for me and that's good for them. All that being said, again, thank you guys very much and I have to remind myself, do not forget to remind you to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Powering down Ford. Seat protection retrieval. See you later, F-150.